Hello everybody, Omega Killer 44 here, or Mark, and today we're going to be talking about the test, the top 10, the top best cop shows. The credit goes out to Popular Me Me Mechanics, and at number 10 we have Hawaii Five O. Network CBS, air date September 20th, 1968 to April 6th, 1980. Hawaii Five-0 is about the elite branch of the Hawaii State Police, is swearable only to the governor, and headed by Steve, Steve McGarrett, currently played by Jack Lloyd Lord and his partner Danny Williams, James Mac, May, uh, MacArthur, MacArthur. With one of his hippiest theme songs in the television hi history, Hawaii Five-0 served up some fast-paced jump cut editing that intensified the island's Action, action. It was way ahead of its time. Number nine is Wit Wise Guy. Network CBS. Air dates September 16th, 1987 to December 8th, 1990. The preserve re relationship between undercover operatives and the criminals they befriend is fertile, fertile ground for drama. Stephen J. Connell's Wise Guy plays. Connell's wise guy plays this theme to the hit by placing Vinny, some Vinny T, who served an 18-month prison sentence to establish a secret cred inside a criminal organization for story uh, arcs that span entire seasons. Coming in at number eight, we have Dragon Dragnet Network NBC. Air dates 19 not, not, air dates December 16th. 1959 to August 23rd, 1959. December 16th, 1951. I should, sorry. Dum de dum dum. Dum de dum dum. Ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the incident. Incident. In. Innocent. The iconic introduction to each episode of Dragon. Dragnet. Dragon. Whatever. Is often provided. Produ. up Today. But in December 16, 1951, it was taken very seriously. The brilliant Jack Webb created, produced, and starred in Dragnet. Originally a radio show that the Emmy-winning cop drama follows Sergeant Joe Friday in stories dra drawn from actual case files. The fast-paced Just the Facts dialogue combined with voice over narr narration, pates, and classic picture of 50, 50s police work. Coming at number 7, we have Miami Vice. Network NBC, air date September 28, 1984, May 21 to May 21, 1989. Here's a litent test. Um, here's a. Hold on. Here's a litent test. If you like the movie Heat, you will love the Miami Vice. You will love Miami Vice. The connecting thread is Michael Mann and his ability to build a universe, co universe of cops and criminals locked in Delhi and Brant. The heart of the show is the relationship between Scotty Crockett and Richard Ricardo Tubbs, two men addicted to the danger and righteousness of police work. Miami Vice is an anti-drug war show showing the brutally and hypocrisy hypocrisy of the illicit trade and all his neo-glory. For all its fall cheat cheese isness. The show entire run is more than worth your time, but here are just two episodes to give you the, the for, for full flavor. We have, or at number six, we have CSI Miami. Network CBS. Air dates sept September 23rd, 2002 to April 2012. CSI Miami follows a team of forensic investigators using, using cutting-edge scientific methods to solve crimes. And the South Florida spinoff Trades at the slick scenery of the original CSI crime scene investigation, set in, sprawl in sprawling Las Vegas, Nevada, for the steamy typical glades of Miami, with its comic book style framing over over colors and fantastic G CGI work. Each episode had a big screen feel, big screen feel in your living room. Number five, we have Law and Order, Law and Order, Law and Order, Network, NBC. Or I on television. Air date September 13th, 1990 to May 24th, 2010. What they mean by air dates, this show still airs, but they don't make any more episodes. It, it they don't make any more episodes. It ended, but there's it still airs. 
Super producer Dick Wolf. Dick Wolf cut his teeth writing episodes of Hill Street Blues before taking over line producer responsibilities from Michael Mann on Miami Vice. It was there that Wolf began developing the concept that would become Law and Order. Each episode will begin with the con commensh commission of a, cr of a crime, followed by the investigation and prosecution of that crime. The Law and Order formula sounds pretty simple, but it's a formula that sustained a recording tying 20 seasons, not to mention multiple spin-offs and adaptions including Law and Order SVU, which will soon complete its fifth season. Whoops, sorry guys, sorry. Next is at number four is NYPD Blue Network ABC, air date September twenty first, night September twenty first, nineteen ninety three to March first, two thousand five. Traders Stephen Bonko and David Milch, two men who were fined with a cop with what a cop show could be with the groundbreaking series Hill Hill Street Blues, saw the threat that cable cap, cable post to the networks in the early nineteen nineties, and so they created the most daring show ever seen on broadcast. TV. NYPD Blue were regularly aired a warning at the beginning and th throughout the show that episodes contain adult language and nudity, but they st that still didn't prevent ABC re receiving from one of the largest fines for indice in FFC F FCC history, a whopping $1.43 million. Ultimately, the fine was overturned by the United States Court of Appeals for the Second, Second Circuit for being unconstitutionally vague. Unlike some other shows that I won't mention here, NYPD Blue's decision to include ma major content was not about titillation. I don't even know how you say that. Titillation? I don't know. But about telling an adult story about flawed characteris characters and their dark, fascinating world. Number three is The Wire. Network HBO. Air dates June 2nd, 2002 to March 9th, 2008. Producer David Simon worked for the Baltimore Sun City desk for 12 years and wrote Homicide, A Year on the Killing Streets, which spawned the NBC show Homicide, Life on the Street, as Life on the Street as well as forming the basic basis for what would become The Wire. Simon, along with Wire co-creator Ed Burns, a former Baltimore police detective and public school teacher, set out to create not just another cop show, but a subversion but a subversive look at the crumbling institution of American society, of American society diag diagnosed, I think, dis discused, oh my god, as police pr procedural, p p whatever. That's not to say The Wire isn't a cop show, it is a, it is a, it is an a damn fine one at the, but Simon is putting the whole system on trial here. That's why The Wire, widely considered the greatest Script television drama of all time ended up just a third on our list. Number two is The Shield. Network Fox or FX. Air dates March 12, 2002 to November 25, 2009. The Shield, in my opinion, is quite possibly the best cop show ever. Fans of The Wire and I Am One won't like to hear that, but it's true. No other show has ever nailed the horror. Oh my god, I hate when that happens. Morality trauma consequences and temposition of law enforcement then is this masterpiece the spike the strike team a group of anti-gang cops in la led by vic mackey michael chillix michael chillix has a con continent competent police policy one sec drug dealers are allowed to operate as long as they keep the peace and provide a gang generous kickback to the team and number one is hill street blues Network NBC air dates January fifteenth, nineteen eighty one to May 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 twelfth, nineteen eighty seven. How could Hill Street Blues not take the number one spot on our list by incorporating multiple storylines, elements from serialized dramas, and handheld camera work? Is ushed in the modern police procedural. I don't know, say it right. And just consider the wealth of talent behind the camera, including series co-creator Stefan Banco, which whose cre credits also include NYPD Blue and Law. L.A. Law, writer David Milch, who went on and created Dead, Deadwood, writer Anthony Y., who created Miami Vice, writer Mark Frost, who, with David Lynch, who created the cult favorite tween picks, and writer Dick Wolf, who went on to create the uh, jug Juggernaut Law & Order franchise. And before we end the video, we have an honorable mention. Cops. <laughs> Network Fox. Air dates, March 11th, 1989 to May 4th, 2013. Net and also, Network Sp Spike brought it back 
to, from aired from 2000, September 14th, 2013 to now. In 1954, a radio show debuted that changed the relationship between law enforcement and the media. It was called Night Watch. A reporter followed the police. Offers of a little up. Anyway. Well, anyway, I would like to thank you all for watching my video today. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. The name is Omega Killer 44 Mark. Thank you for watching, and I hope, and I'll see you next time.